Hello YouTube. This video is on how to buy a motorcycle in Thailand and uh, maintenance tips. Um, I bought a used motorcycle here in Thailand, uh, Chiang Mai, uh, about three years ago. Um, I, my landlord sold it to me. It ended up being very expensive. I bought it for 500 and uh, it needed a lot of work. And um, so for that reason, I recommend buying a brand new one. A brand new motorcycle in, uh, I bought one in Cha Am, Thailand, southern part, for $1,400. And uh, I, I, like, I like to have the new one because you don't have to worry about anything. And the, uh, the sales lady uh, took all my information and got it registered. Uh, I didn't have to do all that, uh, and she also I also got she got the license uh, plates. So I went back in ten days and got the new license plate put on, and uh, got my green book. She took care of all that. When you buy a, buy a used one, you have to do that all yourself. So you're going to spend. Uh, I've read two or three days at the Department of Transportation. I only spent one day there, but I had to go to um, one that uh, the Department of Transportation that was like two hours south of Chiang Mai, because that's where the original owner uh, registered it. I tried doing it up here. There's so there's several Department of Transportation offices here in Chiang Mai, and they wouldn't do it. So anyway, wasn't that big of a deal, but uh, it's just easier to buy a new one, I think. Um, I bought a Honda Wave 110, 110i CC, which is plenty, plenty of power for um, getting around Thailand. Uh, you don't want something too big because then it's going to be hard to get around, around traffic jams. Uh, and you, if you're going faster, uh, your accidents are going to be a lot worse. You see a lot of bad accidents on the big, uh, high, more high-powered bikes uh, above 150 cc's. Um, if you're a big expat um, that weighs know, over 200 pounds, you probably want to get a 150 or maybe even higher. <laughs> they make a Honda 150 PCX that I see a lot of expats riding. They, they're, they're very comfortable and very big. Um, if you go higher than that, you're going to pay more in taxes, and they are a lot more expensive. Uh, but if you have the money, that's fine. Um, yeah, this owner manual, owner's manual, it's pretty much all in Thai, so it's very hard to read. But there's a lot of good illustrations, so you can go by that. I did get a um, Honda Wave... A, I did find a Honda Wave uh, owner's manual online in English, and I think it was pretty close to mine, and I think it gave all the important information that you need. Um, yeah, my bike is, has a front disc brake, um, electric start, which is really good to have. My first bike was just a kick start, and it, it became a big hassle. Uh, electric starts are so much nicer, and if it does fail, you do have a backup kick start. Um, I have fuel injection on my bike. Um, now, uh, part of the $1,400 uh, 1400 baht uh, price for the bike was uh, 600 baht for registration. Uh, government insurance was 450 baht, which is uh, mandatory. Uh, theft insurance is optional. That was 2,500 baht. I got that. It's good for a year. I, I, I liked having it because it's peace of mind. Uh, but Thailand is very safe. Uh, very few thefts. You also have a lock on your front wheel when you lock your bike. So that would make it pretty hard to steal a motorcycle here. And people are pretty honest here, a lot, lot better than the States. But if you want to spend the money, it's nice to have that peace of mind. 
Uh, it comes with red license plates that are temporary. That's 400 baht. Um, now, um, so that the, the green book and the license plates that was ta all taken care of by the by the uh, sales lady. So that was real nice. Um, Check some of my notes here. Now the Honda Wave, um, unleaded petrol only, petrol octane of 90 plus or higher. I go to the PTT uh, gas station and get the orange gas, it's 95, so it's pretty high octane and it works real well. Um, tires, front is 29 PSI, a back is 33 PSI. Um, check your tires because they, they lose air. I've had a problem with my front tire losing air. I've had a new tube put in and it still leaks a little bit. Uh, so you want to check that pretty often. Uh, it's got a sealed battery. Oil, you're supposed to be use JIS OT903 standard uh, and 0.8 liters. Uh, 10W30 uh, SG or higher. Uh, when you take your bike, the dealership does all that for you. Hope they're, hopefully they're putting all the correct fluids in. Uh, the brake fluid is a Honda Dot 3 or 4. Uh, the chain is HF uh, Chain Lube SAE80-90 Gear Oil. Uh, the gas tank is 3.7 liters or 0.98 gallons, almost one gallon for the gas tank. Uh, your key, your key comes with a um, number and a, a metal plate attached to it, uh, four digit number, one letter, and then three uh, digit number. Uh, you can use that in case you lose what you lose both your keys. You're given two. Um, and you change your oil every 2,000 kilometers. When a new bike, you change it the first thousand, and then after that, it's 2,000 kilometers um, to change it. Cost about 90 to 100 baht at the dealership. Um, here's the key. It's got a diamond uh, opening on it. You, you use that to open the lock plate. And that unlocks the wheel also um, and, and takes off the plate in case it gets rained on for the key slot. Okay, uh, another good source is um, Chiang Mai Buddy, Buddy. They have a lot of good tips in there on buying a, a motorcycle. Um, anybody could buy a motorcycle in Thailand. Just takes money. Uh, to register, you register it in your name. Uh, so foreigners, you'll need your um, passport and your local address, uh, certificate of residency. I didn't need that when I bought mine. The, the sales lady did it all for me. I just gave her my address. Um, but you might need that. They didn't ask for it in my case. Um, you always want to have a good a uh, stack of copies of all the pages in your passport because they'll want, they'll want copies of that in your visa. Um, now, uh, some other advantages of a, of a new motorcycle is uh, it's very sound mechanically. Uh, you don't have to worry about things breaking down. Everything's brand new. It's really good. And the acceleration is much better on a new bike, too. So that's real nice. Um, your bike's also under warranty. If anything goes wrong, take it in and they'll fix it for you. 
um, the dealership where you buy your, your bike, that should be your mechanic uh, for your oil changes and all that. Uh, and anything goes wrong. Um, and uh, yeah, it's good, uh, the, the, the dealership, she spoke pretty good English, so that was a big help. Um, Yeah, it took a few weeks to get my metal plates, and and I went back and they put them on for you. I think it was about almost two weeks. Now, buying a second-hand bike, um, if you know what you're doing, I would go with the checkoff list, and. Uh, and make sure everything's checked off. You're still taking a chance because you don't know what's uh, the previous owners, what's been done to the bike. But uh, if you get a good buy and you know what you're doing, uh, you know, go for it. Um, and you, what you do is you, you use the green book to transfer uh, the bike to your name. Let's see, this, this uh, book has my name in it, my passport number. When I sell it, I'll go to the next page and my name will, or the new owner's name will be in there. Uh, yeah, and you should not keep this on your motorcycle. That'd be a bad idea in case it gets stolen. <laughs> And I have another video on how to get a Thai driver's license. Um, and uh, also, uh, if you do uh, buy a motorcycle, you'll have to register it at the, they call it uh, the transportation office. It's not called the DMV. It's called the transportation office. They're, they're a government building. They have purple all over them, purple trim. So when you see that, you know it's the Department of Transportation. In Chiang Mai, uh, there's, uh, if you're going to register your bike, uh, I've, I've looked up that you're supposed to go to the one on um, Road 106, south of the city, it's southeast of the old city, um, on Road 106. Road 106 is the road with all the big trees on the sides. Um, so get on Google Maps and Google it, you'll see it. Um, when I got my driver's license, I went to uh, the Department of Transportation on, uh, it was Road 108, south of the city also, but it's on the south, from the southwest corner. Uh, just before you get to Big C, you can Google it and find it. Big government building, and they do everything there. And um, so, well, good, good luck with buying a, uh, your motorcycle.